Hi you guys, I hope you're all doing well. So if you guys saw my last video, you know we are officially moving and Joshua and I thought today we should probably get started on a few things. We officially accepted an offer. I know nothing's final until it's final so I didn't really want to share too much about it. But we did accept an offer and at this point in time we have less than 30 days to get out of here. So I don't know if Joshua saw like a gif or a gif or a meme, whatever they're called, but it said if you're over 30, you're going to be moving, just hire a moving company. Nobody wants to throw out their back helping you move, which is totally true. Like it's funny, but it's true. Nobody really looks forward to helping you move all day. So we're planning on hiring a moving company to move some of like our bigger pieces like sofas, dining room table and stuff. And it's all going to be just going in a store storage unit for now because like I said in my last video if anybody missed it you should probably check it out but we are gonna just be staying with my parents until we find our official new home so today we're just gonna do a little moving prep might have to get a few more boxes and we want to take a few things over to my parents house since that's where we're going to be staying really soon my mom's actually planning on having a garage sale in a few weeks so i know there's a few things i want to put in um, her garage sale too i'm probably going to help her with that it's actually been really great because joshua and i have just been able to purge a lot of things in the meantime get rid of things that we don't want so anyway like i said in my last video i want to bring you guys along for this journey i actually did just post a little thing on my stories on my instagram stories a little question thing if you guys have any questions about um our moving i thought i would do a little q a in today's video too but i just posted it so i'm gonna wait for some more questions to come through so i'll probably do that a little bit later but yeah like i said i just want to bring you guys along for this process we aren't going to go over the top and do anything crazy today but maybe just start moving a few things and just try to keep this move fun and exciting and stress-free. What are we doing today? Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> we are uh, going to be moving some things around, doing a little packing. Nothing crazy. Nothing. I was saying we're yes. keeping it very chill. We want to make this move fun, stress-free. So we're going to do little at a time. A little less than a month, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to get the computer. We're gonna get a couch. The workout bike. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. All right, this is our basement. If you've never seen it, it's very dark, not finished. Okay. So this this sofa, we actually used to have this in our living room, but we are gonna take this over to my parents because I'm gonna put it in the garage sale. So. Yeah. Oof. All right. Because all the weight was on the bottom person. I'm just going straight back. car we have our bike and the couch <laughs> and in this car I have my cushions and the computer, the computer. That's and it. what we're gonna do is Abby's gonna get on the bike and I'm gonna drive back and it'll be like she's biking miles really fast <laughs> but I do have to say <laughs> taking <laughs> what <laughs> <You're> like <laughs> paparazzi okay I do have to say carrying that bike up the stairs i actually thought i was gonna die i wasn't doing it by myself joshua was obviously helping me but i was like look at me i'm dripping sweat it was very very heavy to get in the car so yeah i can't wait to hire that moving company <laughs> so we dropped a bunch of stuff off at my parents house now we are going to go get culvers for ourselves and for my parents so pretty excited about
building a dream home, that'd be the dream. <laughs> I mean, we're not excluding anything right now. Just the building prices of plywood went from $8 to $35, so yes. trying to... So building prices are like really, really... Oh, we have this music on. So building prices are pretty high up there. So probably not. We probably won't. Though. We wanted to. We were looking for land, but at this point, we're just kind of hoping that a we just find a house that a house that has the structure to it. Even if we have to like re-renovate everything, if it has the layout and the and the ample land for it, then boom. Then we'll take it. We won't build. So yeah, we would probably like to not build, but if we have to or something, I have a feeling we'll just end up finding a house. Another couple questions that I saw, people were wondering, are we moving out of Michigan? We are staying in Michigan, unless for some reason, like, something crazy happens. <laughs> but all of our family lives in Michigan, so there really wouldn't be any reason for us to move out of Michigan right now. We don't know really anybody out of state, <laughs> so most likely we will be staying here because all of our family is here. Oh, and the question about like starting a family or having kids or anything like that, I am not opposed to it and most likely we will eventually start a family if God has that in the cards for us. So yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. Another question, are you guys looking for a lake house? A lake house? That would be nice, but that's not what we're looking for. No. <laughs> Joshua just needs to be near a lake so he can fish, but we're not planning on like having a lake. And if we did, that would be very hard because dude would literally be in it. All, all the time. Day. <laughs> all day. Yeah. I think building a pond down the road would be a great option. Okay. Where are you moving to? We've explained that in the last video. We have no idea where we're moving to, but we are staying in Michigan. Um, are you staying in the same town you've been living at when you move? Most likely we'll, we won't be in the same exact town, but we don't know exactly what town we will be in. Whoever just comes up with a bunch of land for us. <laughs> are you considering a build? Answer that. Um, are you keeping the same theme colors for your new home? I would like to. Um, kind of like a similar vibe. Maybe not exactly the same but maybe a different shade of white yeah definitely a different shade of white there are 36 different shades how many acres do you guys want of land i'm thinking at least two two like, to a thousand yeah two and up would be two plus great any luck finding something you may like no luck not yet <laughs> where are all the houses come on people Move. What's the square footage of your current home? Do you want to go bigger? You can answer that. Okay. Current square footage. Current square footage around 2000. Do we want to go bigger? Yes. The reason is the house we move into, I would like to be able to grow into. I was looking straight. <laughs> I got the signal to look to the camera. Yeah, look at that. I would like to, I want to grow into it. So I want the, there to be potential to add bedrooms in the basement. Uh, but if we do have a family, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bedrooms would be nice. Really just like, I feel like four bedrooms would be a good amount. A good starting like point. Like including the master yes. bedroom. And hey, if it comes with a pole barn and we can throw a bedroom in there. He's joking. <laughs> Am I? What are your must-haves for mm. your new house? Okay. Mm. Land, obviously. Land for sure. It's very important to us because we realize we're not neighborhood people. Right. So land. Land. Um. Kitchen. Kitchen. I would really <laughs> like Every house has a kitchen. an island in there my next go. kitchen, but if I really love the house, it's fine, to, fine if I don't have an island. Our current house is just like has a peninsula and... I've always kind of desired a little bit more counter space in the kitchen, so I feel like... How's <laughs> <laughs> yawning? Get out of here. I feel like an island would be really nice to have. And then, 
Of course, I would love things to already be sort of remodeled a little bit, but it's fine if they aren't. Like, I'm fine taking on a few projects to, like, make the house our own because I know any house that we find, if it's not, like, a brand new house or whatever, even if it was a new build, I feel like there's still going to be things that we're going to want to change to, like, make it our own and stuff. So, a few projects are fine. I don't want, like, a full gut or anything right. like that. I think that's really it. I mean... It would be nice to have a pole barn, but we're fine if it doesn't have a pole barn. That's not a must-have. Yeah, Because if not it comes to land, we could always build a pole barn. I feel like those are really our only must-haves. A barnuminium. Not a barnuminium. Maybe. Okay. Another question was, yeah, hit us what's with your it. packing up game plan? I'm moving in so overwhelmed. I actually am going to do a packing video because I want it to be organized and stress free but for us it's obviously going to be a little stressful no matter what anytime you're moving but for us we're in a different situation which i do have to say we are super grateful that we have a place to go we're going to be staying at my parents house and we've said so many times like wow it's so nice that we've had my parents like they've been able to like take the dogs for like showings or we're able to go over there and just like to have a place to stay in the meantime while we look is really a blessing and I know yes. that not everybody has that option so we are really really grateful for that um but That's what was a, the question oh, or packing packing oh yeah well <laughs> um but we do have a storage unit so yes. that's part of the packing plan. and it's always nice because we we felt like we wanted to move we were going to sell our house so we said this was the best time we sold it uh so that we didn't have an offer on the next house being contingent on selling our house. So that was kind of our thought process there as far and as that didn't, goes. We didn't want like the stress of like having to move and wait in 30 days and this and that and what what what. Yeah. So, so it's kind of the game plan. One more before we get into well we are online, but one more before we order. A lot of people will ask the same questions. Are you moving far? We don't Very. know where we're moving yet. No. Sometimes I wonder, like, do people actually watch my videos? Honestly, I feel like we just answered all of the questions. All of them have been answered by us. A lot of people ask the same question. If you want to ask a question about moving, <laughs> we are. <laughs> and where? We don't, know, we don't know, like we've said a million times. We're moving into our parents' house. <laughs> that's it. That's all we got. Yep, that's all we know for now. But now it's the plans time. for tomorrow are not our own. Okay, Ooh. but now I say it's time for a concrete mixer, Let's everyone. Let's get that concrete mixer, everyone. We have our concrete mixers, but Joshua keeps calling them blizzards he even was talking to them calling them blizzards and i was like you might as well just call it a mcflurry hi ah, yes point. um can i get a uh, oreo mcflurry please <laughs> uh it please. looks funny so it's the next day and i was going through all of the instagram questions last night and some this morning and a lot of them were the same so i was like i'm pretty sure i've answered all of these in some form but oh my goodness the amount of people asking us <laughs> when we're gonna have kids was so funny actually one person was just like oh i see you're pregnant congratulations and i'm like what I never said that. <laughs> We're just moving. That's my announcement. But I hope that you guys felt like some of your questions were answered. Some people had started asking questions about like which state would we want to move to and all that stuff. And I feel like, like I said, I've just answered a lot of these questions. We're staying in Michigan as far as we know right now. All of our family is in Michigan. We just don't know where yet. We've just kind of felt led by God that right now was going to be a great time to sell our house. We just really feel like it was just the right thing to do right now and we're excited. So taking a break from all of the moving stuff, which 
I'm kind of happy about. I'm going to show you guys a little haul. So all of these pieces I just got from Forever 21. So thanks to Forever 21 because they partnered up with me and gifted me these clothes. They let me pick out all these clothes and everything is so affordable there that I'm like, Oh my goodness, I literally have an entire spring summer wardrobe now. I've already tried on everything just to make sure it fits and all that. I also have on a couple things right now from Forever 21. But I thought I would just show you guys some of the pieces that I got, how I would style them. I even have like a few accessories over here too. But everything is just so cute really trendy pieces. So starting with what I have on though, I did pick out this little cropped zip up hoodie. And I just thought this was really cute because I always wear high-waisted jeans and all of my hoodies are like longer. So I really wanted something that was a little bit more cropped and this is just like the perfect length so if you're into more of a crop you could always even like tuck this under if you wanted not everybody's into crop some people are into crop <laughs> uh, but this also isn't like too cropped if you're not wanting to show your belly off or anything speaking of showing your belly off though i ordered a couple of tank tops from there they're ribbed super affordable this is what it looks like and it has kind of like this little scoop in the front so over here you'll see i also got this in a tan color these i'm just obsessed with because i feel like it's a great basic i'll wear all summer long i actually got these in a medium and i've washed them and dried them both already and i just feel like it literally fits perfect now um, at first I was thinking, oh, this might be a tiny bit big, but it's really not at all. It's literally perfect. Before I get too far into things, though, the shoes. Okay, don't mind. I just did a spray tan last night, too. So I feel like I'm slightly a little orangey. My feet are, at least. I picked these out. And I just think they are so cool because they're like that dad sandal that is super in right now. These look exactly like a Chanel sandal that's like $5,000. And I just think these are a really great alternative if you don't want to spend that kind of money and you just kind of want the look. They're quilted, so... It definitely has that Chanel vibe. They're so stinking cute. I'm obsessed with them. It's slightly platform. These are my dad jeans. These are not from Forever 21. These are a couple years old. They're like top shop dad jeans, but um, I also got a pair of jeans from Forever 21. These are a boyfriend fit. Here they are. I actually got them in a 27 because I'm normally a 26 which I honestly probably would have been fine with the 26, but I got a 27 just because I'm really not into having my jeans be really tight and fitted right now. So I love the wash of these and yeah, they're a mid rise, so they're not a high rise and they're a boyfriend relax fit. So I'm just going to show you guys everything on the hanger and then I'll do some cutaways of what some of the pieces look like or how I would style them. But these came in a set, like sweatpants shorts, and they fit perfectly. I'm pretty sure I got a medium, but like I said, I'll have everything linked down below in the description box and sizing information and everything. But they're so comfy. They came in a few different color options too, but I just got the gray and black because I thought it would look cute with a lot of different things and then I grabbed these shorts just a black jean denim which I do not have and I've been on the hunt for these are called a mom short and I got these in a 27 as well because like I said I just don't really like um, my bottom was being like really fitted I just like them to be really comfortable so these are a high-rise fit 
and they look really cute on. They're a little bit longer, which I really appreciate, and I also love that they're high-rise, so these are going to be great all summer. These came in a few different colors as well. These were outside of my comfort zone, but I picked them up because for that reason, really. Just because they were outside of my comfort zone. So they're a hot pink jogger pant and I got these in a medium. I love the fit, it's more relaxed. They just fit really well. So I thought I could even dress up or dress down any of the items that I picked out. But I have a few things here that would even look really adorable with the joggers. Okay, then I got a ton of tops. <laughs> Like lots of tank tops and t-shirts. This one right here, it's going to be way better to explain it when it's on me. But it kind of ties in the front and then it has that little string that wraps around your belly. Which, that's kind of a trendy thing I've noticed lately. But really cute. These two things are literally probably my favorite things that I picked out from Forever 21. This is a ribbed sweater tank top, which I just love like sweater tanks because I think they just look really classy. And this one, $14.99, you would never guess. It looks really expensive and I love where it actually hits on my stomach. It's not like too long or anything. So it's slightly cropped, but not too cropped where you're gonna have your belly hanging out or something. Unless you have a much longer torso than I do. I'm about 5'2", and I feel like it hits me at a really good spot. So I love this, and then I also got this one as well. It's like this really pretty brown color. And I have just seen so many stores that sell sweater tanks, and they're like at least 40, 50 bucks. So. I mean, these were just such an amazing deal. I couldn't believe it. These will look really, really pretty dressed up, like with heels and jeans or cute shorts. And then I also picked out this little tank here. And I just thought that was fun for summer. And then I also picked out this one. The green, pop of green for me. I showed you guys this. And then the t-shirts. I got so many t-shirts. Oh my goodness. I just thought I would sit here and show you guys the t-shirts because I kind of have them all like draped over the hangers. So this is the first one. It's a white one and it ties on the side and I got it in a medium. It's still going to be really fitted. A fun little twist on your basic white t-shirt for the summer. But I love that trend right now with the ties on the side because you can kind of cinch them up as high as you want if you want the shirt to be a little more cropped on the side. Or if you don't, then you can just kind of leave it longer. This one just says New York. I also got this little graphic t-shirt in a medium. But I wear stuff like this all the time in the summer. Just little graphic t-shirts. It's pretty much my uniform in the summer with shorts or something. This one is really cute too and ties at the bottom as you can see. Then I got this Arizona one. This is in a small, has a couple little rips in it too so it's a little distressed. But all of these t-shirts were so affordable and I'm just a t-shirt girl. Like I would wear jeans and then even dress up the outfit with like a cute bag and some heels. Speaking of heels though, I have to show you guys these that I picked out. These were really affordable as well. The square toe is super, super in right now and then nude. And then I've also noticed like strappy sandal type heels are really in for spring and summer. So I picked these out and the shoes are all true to size too. I would say I'm normally a six and a half, seven most of the time and I got both of the shoes in a seven and I think they both fit perfectly. So love these. I think they're super cool and just a fun way to dress up any outfit. A couple super casual graphic t-shirts was this Colorado one. And then I got a tie-dye one that says New York. Those are both in a small. Like I said, all sizing info will be down below too. And this is in a small too. It's a little boxy tee. And I just thought this was 
kind of precious just to wear with jeans or whatever. Those are all of the t-shirts. So many t-shirts, but like I said, I literally live in t-shirts in spring and summer and I just love dressing them up or down. And then I also picked out a few sweatshirts. I got this white one right here in a medium and it cinches at the bottom so you can have it more cropped if you want especially for petite people like me um i'm only 5'2 like i said i just think it's a more flattering look to have a cropped shirt i think it makes your legs look longer and i also grabbed this cropped sweatshirt as well this one is definitely the most cropped shirt probably that i got out of all of them but I get it in the medium? Yeah. Um, what's funny is I was actually watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians last week. I think it was Courtney had on a sweatshirt with like text on it. I don't know what it said or anything, but I think this is a very similar vibe to the sweatshirt she had. Oh, and I'll have to show you guys this one. This one's really cute. And then I got a little jacket, which I'm obsessed with. I'm so into the jackets right now. I got a really cool one this winter that I wore all the time. And then this one is much more lightweight. The one I got in the winter was not from Forever 21, but it was definitely more expensive, I think. But this one was under $40, so love this. Love the color. It's like a very neutral, pretty color I can wear with anything, even like with a white tank top or and white shorts and some sandals and a cute bag. I think it would be really cute. And then this, I have to take off the hanger to show you guys. This sweatshirt I thought was really cool because it's like lightweight, so it's perfect for the summer, but it just has back to nature on it. I just love graphic sweatshirts, and then the back had this kind of cool design on it. I don't know if it has any like meaning or something, but I just thought it was kind of cute, and I liked the colors on it. I thought it was just sort of a summery, fun sweatshirt. And then some accessories I picked out were all of these. Okay, first I'm going to talk about the bucket hats because I am obsessed with bucket hats right now. They got really trendy. It's such a 90s thing. I remember having one when I was like 10. I'm excited that they're in style. And then I picked out a couple summery bags versus this one, which I am so impressed with the quality and this strap. So what's really cool about it is you can wear it as a shoulder bag like this or you can also wear it as a crossbody and I feel like as a crossbody it hits at a very very good length not too long or anything I'll show you guys I gotta just set the camera down okay and this is where it hits me as a crossbody which I'm very happy about where it sits because a lot of crossbodies are just like way too long on me and I just really don't like the way that looks so I think this hits at a great length and it's just adorable another bag I got was this little tote the clear tote and then it has this little pouch in here to put things in I just thought this was fun and it could literally be used as like a beach bag or a little pool bag or something. Or if you want to dress it up, you could dress it up. So just really adorable. I love this one. The last thing I picked up was this little white purse. I don't even think I have a white purse. So you definitely need a little white purse for the summer. I'll show you guys what this this one looks like as well so as you can see this also sits at a really great spot on me not too long or anything so i'm happy about that and it feels so soft i was so impressed when i opened the box and was trying everything on originally and just kind of seeing if I liked everything. My mom was with me and we were both going crazy over this bag. It just feels so nice. It was so affordable. Bucket bags are super in right now and it just sits at a really perfect spot. So this could be dressed up. You could take it if you're going to like a wedding or something or just even wear it more casual. Even how I have it on with a sweatshirt right now. So really, really pretty for the summer. 
I'm excited to start wearing all these pieces out. But like I said, I'm going to have all these pieces linked down below for you guys. I'll have some sizing information. So definitely check it out. I literally love every single thing that I got. It feels like really, really nice quality. So thanks to Forever 21 for letting me pick out all of these pieces. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this vlog. My next couple videos are probably going to be moving related. We're really going to start packing up a lot of stuff and getting this thing going. So I'm going to bring you guys along for the whole process. I do have a process in my head of how I want things to go and how I want things to be organized and not feel like stressed and like my stuff is everywhere so i have a system in place and we hope it goes according to plan but i'm gonna bring you guys along for the whole moving journey so stay tuned to make sure you're subscribed hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this video and if you're looking forward to some future videos leave a comment let me know what you guys thought and i will see you really soon in my next video